next thing I want to show you is various uh, configuration screens we also have. So while well, through the uh, tree itself you can select components and you know configure them, uh, we actually felt that some uh, some configurations uh, you know easier to be done through uh, through custom configuration screens. So we developed a few of them. Uh, one is the uh, uh, clock configuration, uh, and here we develop a screen that looks just like uh, what you would find in our data sheet. It's basically a block diagram of our uh, clock, uh, clock tree. And here user can come in and select uh, you know, what kind of um, clock input they have and how fast they want to they wanna run a particular processor. So for example, um, I can say this processor I have right now can run at 200 megahertz. So I can just simply say auto calculate my frequency to 200 megahertz and say apply. And all my uh, PLL, you know, multiplier, multipliers, dividers will be automatically calculated to run uh, system, my system at 200 megahertz. So it's kind of very easy, you know, visual graphical way to configure uh, to configure uh, my, you know, my my clock setups. Um, another another area we kind of um, felt that would help customers visually is to configure uh, pins. Uh, so for example. Um, we, we have this uh, a pin manager within the uh, within the MHC, uh, and this will list all the modules that were selected in the application. So, for example, right now I have my clock, I have my debug pair, uh, debug pins. I have uh, Ethernet controller uh, because I select the TCP/IP library, so they automatically brought in the uh, enabled uh, the uh, Ethernet uh, module that is on the chip. Uh, so I have this module, and it has associated pins, and it shows me which pins are, uh, which Ethernet module pins located where. And uh, I also had the UART enabled earlier, so again, it shows me I have my UART, I have our X and TX pins. And for um, some of the modules, uh, pins are remappable. Uh, we have a very flexible uh, hardware design where you can select UART pins to be uh, in various places instead of being dedicated to a particular a pin, you can actually have it um, uh, through software select which pin you want to place your UR direct and TX pins. Uh, so this is what's going to be shown here in the pin manager. You can see RX pin can be in multiple locations, pin 6 for example, or pin 16 or other places. So all I have to do is just say, for example, I want to put my UR RX in the pin 6. I just simply click on the pin 6. It's marked as green, so it placed it there and all other choices grayed out. And the same thing for UR TX, I can just simply click on that um, uh, pin 3, and it's, this is where it's going to be mapped. So next time I click on the Generate button, uh, the MHC will generate code and will bring appropriate uh, configuration to place UR Direx and TX pins in those locations. So again, you don't have to worry about you know, manually uh, selecting registers and um, you know, setting up those, configuring those registers. Um, everything will be done for you.